dear learner welcome in my lecture of web technology today i will discuss about wireless markup language wml cascading style sheet css dstml client and server side technologies so the learning objective of this lecture is to understand the wireless markup language wml WML versus HTML, differences between DAC cards in WML, navigation in WML, and types of cascading style sheet, practical implementation of cascading style sheet, also advancement of CSS that is CSS3, CSS class selector, and background image. These are the objective of this lecture. In previous lecture, we have already discussed about HTML and introduction of HTML and details regarding the different web tools. So, first of all, I will start by WML. WML means wireless markup language. It is markup language used to develop website for mobile phones. So, basically, HTML is used to develop web pages for any desktop any computer but wml is specifically used for the programming language which will develop website web pages for mobile phones so this is the basic difference while designing the wml constants of wireless devices we have to consider and we have to see these facts first of all the wireless devices or mobile devices having small display screens and their memory is very limited and the bandwidth of the phone also low for the transmission. So these points we have to consider while developing the page or program for wireless devices for mobile devices. Web wireless access protocol this is used for WML basically in HTML for HTML page we require HTTP hypertext transfer protocol and in other case for wireless markup language we require wireless application protocol so this is the difference between HTTP and WAP HTTP means hypertext transfer protocol and wireless application protocol so the sites are different from normal HTML sites has very small screen space. So this is the main point which we have to consider while working on WML. It inherits technology from HDML handheld device markup language and HTML. So the property of HDML handheld device markup language as well as hypertext markup language their property we inherit in case of wireless markup language WML. So when we design a program for WML, so we have to consider these points also. Each code, each subsection of the code is called card and the collection of different card is called WML DAC. So there are two terms DAC and cards. These two terms we have to consider these two terms. You can see this uh, slide where we have different different cards the blue color showing the cards and the combination of three blue color three cards is deck one and another three cards is it deck two so we have two decks deck one and deck two each deck having three cards and each card having a piece of code so again you can see here the different piece of code are called different different cards and the combination of these card is called WML DAC. A WML document is throw off made up of many cards and cards group to form a DAC. So combination of the card is called DAC and one card will be displayed at a time on the screen just like how one page is displayed at the time of HTML website. So uh, one card 
वन कार्ड इज इक्विवेलेंट टू वन पेज इन आवर मोबाइल वाइल इन केस ऑफ एस टी एम एल दिस इज वन पेज बट हियर इन डब्ल्यू एम एल वी कॉल इट कार्ड एंड ग्रुप ऑफ कार्ड इज कॉल्ड डेक सो दिस इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन कार्ड एंड डेक सो दिस इज अगेन एग्जाम्पल वेर वी हैव थ्री थ्री डिफरेंट कार्ड एंड दीज कार्ड कंबाइंडली नोन एज डेक वन एंड डेक टू सो नाउ सी द प्रोग्राम वेन वी स्टार्ट ए प्रोग्राम वी स्टार्ट द प्रोग्राम बाई एक्स एम एल एंड दिस इज द हेडर एक्स एम एल वर्जन वी विल मैंशन हियर एंड वी विल राइट हियर डॉक टाइप बेसिकली इट इज रिटर्न इन द एडवांस एस टी एम एल एज वेल एज इन एक्स एम एल सो हियर वी विल मैंशन एंड वी विल स्टार्ट बाई द डब्ल्यू एम एल एंड द प्रोग्राम विल बी स्टार्टेड बाई डब्ल्यू एम एल अंडर इन साइड द टैग एंड इट इज क्लोज बाई स्लैश डब्ल्यू एम एल एंड यू कैन सी हियर कार्ड आई डी इक्व टू कार्ड वन and its name is example 1 title is example 1 and then we have mentioned here p p means paragraph and then br br means line it will show the horizontal line so you can see the output also so in the output you will see title example 1 so which is already mentioned in the above line example 1 that is title and then br horizontal row and then it will display hello world so you can see the heading hello world and paragraph is closed and card is closed and finally wml is closed so this is the simple program very very simple programming language this is wml this is just like html programming language in html we always use these tags p tag is also used in html for paragraph br tag is also used line break for line break and hello world it is message slash p closing of paragraph slash card closing of card slash wml closing of wml program so this way we can design a page for the mobile phone now see this is the single page suppose we have to develop two pages so this is another example where we have card 1 and card 2 so from card 1 we can move card 2 for this we require hyperlinking so in this slide you can see then how to navigate from one page to another page means how to hyperlink one page with the another page. creating a link in wml just like creating a link in html so a h r e f and then we will write here the path the address of the another page where we are linking so sample link is there and slash a is a closing of this anchor tag and here the path or the route or we can say the name of website where we will move where we will hyperlink after clicking this sample link word so uh, see this example in this example we have card 1 and card 2 uh, card 1 is started by card id equals to card 1 title first cards so when this will run so initially it will show the first card and then paragraph will start and this card had to link to the second card from this card we can link with the second card and here href a href is mentioned a href card 2 so it will be linked with the card 2 and the card 2 you can see in the bottom part of this page this slide you can see uh, card id equals to card 2 and title equals to second card so when first card will open and as we will click on sort from link then it will show the next page and next page is this card 2 its id is card 2 and title is second card and it is showing this is second card message so easily you can see the output of this program so card 1 is not showing here only card 2 is showing here because from card 2 we have moved on card 2 so these are the simple program very very simple uh, sample program of wm wireless markup language and we can also display some image over our mobile screen so this is image src img src image dot wbmp so this wbmp extension this type of image will uh, support to mobile phone so maybe some other file extension maybe we can use so which type of image is supported by the mobile so we will write here accordingly so this is the syntax for showing 
इमेज ऑन आवर मोबाइल फोन सो नाउ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट कैस्केडिंग स्टाइल शीट सो सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ दिस फर्स्ट लेक्चर इज कैस्केडिंग स्टाइल शीट सो आई हैव एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ टू राइट प्रोग्राम फॉर वायरलेस मार्कअप लैंग्वेज एंड हाउ इट विल शो द आउटपुट सो दीज आर द प्रोग्राम सो दिस इज प्रोग्राम एंड दिस इज द सेंटेक्स ऑफ शोइंग इमेज सो दिस वे वी कैन ऑल्सो राइट कोड फॉर अदर अप्लीकेशन ऑल्सो सो दीज आर टू एप्लीकेशन वन इज फॉर हाइपर लिंकिंग एंड दिस इज फॉर शोइंग इमेज सो दीज आर द प्रोग्राम दिस इज शोइंग दैट द एवरी डैक इज कलेक्टिवली डिजाइन बाई द इट इज ए कलेक्शन ऑफ डिफरेंट कार्ड्स एंड कार्ड्स मीन्स a piece of program card will show one page of the mobile phone so this is card so you can see here again so this is first part of this lecture wireless markup language now the second part of lecture that is cascading style sheet so this is also very important part of this lecture so cascading style sheet describe how html element are to be displayed on screen uh, paper or other media so basically the html is used to display a page display image display video uh, everything it can display over a computer screen but css is specifically designed for uh, to save lot of work it can control the layout of multiple pages all at once suppose we have a long series of pages a number of pages we have so we can format each page accordingly in a single formatting then css is very useful uh, for that and external style sheet are stored in css file so we can use internal style sheet as well as inline style sheet in this so another feature of this css it saves lot of work by using the css programmer can control the layout of web page at once so basically we store the formatting we store the uh, layout of any page in a separate file as well as in any separate place and this will be applied in every page suppose we have 1000 page so 1000 um, time writing uh, the different different formatting we store the uh, formatting of all 1000 page in one place and we will apply it to uh, with each page so css provide color layout background font border property it also allow better content accessibility enhance flexibility so uh, these are the feature of uh, css so that's why css is very useful uh, for web designing web development uh, in web tool it is important part of web tool so now uh, you can see some other feature it defines the web page design variation in display for different type of the devices on their screen so we have different different type of smart devices like we have tablet we have laptop we have mobile phone or smart screen of our automobile auto car so uh, when we define when we write a program for uh, a mobile phone so it will be displayed over our computer as well as our car smart screen so everywhere it will be displayed so uh, this is all about this css so it accommodate itself as per different type of devices and their screen size however html is not more focused on formatting but this css is more focused on formatting so web page and it does not contain more formatting tags uh, html but css require it is more focused on the formatting so you can see this diagram here in bottom part of this html is just showing any picture uh, but when we use html and css so uh, css will make its format more attractive so it will fill the color it can also having many many formatting uh, properties by these property is can format and display attractive picture but when we are talking about html css and java script when we include scripting language with this uh, uh, html and css then it will have the uh, animation also be part of this image so it means we are making more feature full and more attractive image by using html css and javascript so javascript is very important 
uh, while HTML is displaying just a picture, but JavaScript make it dynamic and uh, so that's why we are calling DHTML. So this is the simple HTML program. In this HTML program, we are having this head portion and uh, inside head we have this title and then we have uh, head is closed and body is closed and then body start as, as well as close and then HTML will close. So this is the structure of HTML program. But CSS uh, program is also top up on HTML. So CSS uh, 3 is more advanced version of CSS. So uh, this is advancement of the cascading style sheet. It is used to structuring, styling and formatting web page. So this is also a feature of CSS and several new feature has been added with the CSS3 and it is uh, supported by all modern web browser, not one browser, many browsers support this CSS3. So that's why this is very important part. So this is one command of CSS. Here we are uh, defining the property of heading one. So a selector is heading one and we have declared here, we have declared two properties. One is color equals to blue and second property is font size equals to 12 px. So whenever we display, when we will use h1, then the heading one color will be always blue and its font size will also be 12. So uh, this will be defined, these property will be defined at one time, but always when we will display, when we will use h1, so these property will be applied on heading one. So there are three type of CSS, internal CSS, inline CSS and external CSS. These are the three ways of inserting a style sheet. So first is called uh, internal, second is called inline, third is called external. So here uh, this is uh, a kind of example of internal uh, style sheet. So you can see here HTML, it is started by HTML, then head, then style, then body uh, and inside body you can see here background color body background color uh, we have mentioned here light blue then heading one we have defined the property of heading one so heading one color will be white and the tax align will be center so these two property we have mentioned for heading one and for the paragraph we have mentioned uh, font family vardana and uh, font size 20 px so this is for uh, paragraph so uh, suppose we have the file, we have the website of 2000 page. So every page, every paragraph will be defined by these two property. Every paragraph will be having the font Vardana and their uh, size will be 20 px. And every heading, suppose in the web page of 2000 page, in any particular type of web page, suppose we have 5000 heading. So each heading will have same properties. Uh, their color will be white and tax align will be center. So each heading will come at center. So uh, this is benefit of the this CSS. So we can use these property everywhere these property will be used. So it will make the format of the complete file is same as in page 1 or page 2 or page 3. So uh, this is the benefit of CSS. It makes similarity. It makes uh, same formats of each page. So due to this CSS, we can do it. So this is benefit of CSS. Now, this is the another example where you can see dot center. Center is a class. And inside this class, we have mentioned some property like text align center and color is red. So this center class will be applicable in each file. Suppose we are applying this center. Uh, again, you can see here, the HTML head style inside the style dot center text align center color red so these are two property inside the style tag and uh, this is center class and there are two property inside this center class and then body will start and you can see here h1 and p uh, for h1 and for paragraph we can apply these property and we will include these property. So uh, the property is align center and color is red. So the output will be uh, accordingly uh, given here. And now uh, external style sheet, we can store 
styles it in separate file so see here body and heading both tag having these property and these properties will be stored inside the my style dot css so this is external file so we will store it separately in another place and suppose we have to use it then we will write link rel style sheet and type text oblique css and href my style dot css so in this file this is file started by html head and inside this we have linked it link rel equals to style sheet so we have related it with the style sheet and the name of style sheet is my style dot css so we are including this my style dot css inside this html file so whenever we will write the heading so it will show the property as the heading property we have already defined navy and uh, 20px and uh, whenever we display the paragraph so it will also display this uh, setting we have not mentioned here paragraph setting we have mentioned here body setting so whenever we will write body so it will be light blue so it will display in the light blue color so this is the example of external style sheet and we can also use different colors you can see here uh, different style background color tomato the text is tomato so we have mentioned here so different different labels are there and uh, we have defined their color also and second line you can see the style background equals to orange and uh, the text caption is orange also so this is color defining and we can also define border also so these are the output hello world in three different borders so the code of this is given in the bottom part h1 style border 2px and solid tomato so you can see the solid tomato color also and the caption of this is hello world it will be showing here so these three styles are there css borders also here and we can also mention the background image background image url paper.dif so uh, when you will write this code so the body background will be displayed by this particular file so here you can see the particular file is showing the background so here uh, program is also given html head style also there body background image and its url paper.gif so when you will execute this program so th it will display that type of particular background so uh, this is all about by css as well as wml so the learning outcome of this lecture is about basic understanding of wireless markup language wml html dax and cart in wml types of css so uh, we can understand these concept and we can also understand how to write and execute program in cascading style sheet and css3 also in next lecture we will discuss about dstml as well as client server technology thank you learner thank you very much